Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. This is for your sun, moon, and rising. This is for April 2020. Please take the messages that resonate. If they don't fit, the messages don't fit, then don't make them fit. This is a general reading. So with tarot, um, the energies are very fluid. So this could be the end of March, April, even spilling over into May and June. So let's take a look at the energy. For you guys i hope that everyone is being safe and healthy and cards just won't spill out <laughs> let's see all right so the first card we have is triumph so you guys are gonna have some type of victory, some type of success, some type of recognition. Material harvest, beautiful. So some type of abundance is gonna be showing up in April. And heart chakra. Love that green, it's like a very abundant, overflowing, like compassionate energy. Um, some of you guys may actually be working on aligning your chakras, um, balancing your chakras. If there's any blockages, you know, you, especially from a heartfelt place or emotional place, you know, you can always go on YouTube and look up guided meditations to uh, clear your chakras. Let's see what messages we have. All right, so we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this speaks about the ultimate abundance. You know, this could be financially, um, emotionally. Not a bad way to start April off. You know, with this Triumph card, you know, maybe some of you are getting some type of unexpected money coming in, some type of promotion, you're being um, recognized for your achievements. Yeah, so you have the chariot, so there's some type of forward movement. You know, it could be a physical move, it could be a promotion, it could be um, just forward movement in the energy. This is a very victorious and successful energy. So April is starting to look very good for you guys. So next we have the sun. So you know, this speaks about happiness and joy and it's the ultimate happy card. So I feel like between this triumph and this material harvest, you know, this could be unexpected. Your harvest is coming through and it'll look different for everyone. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. So, you know, this could speak about someone from the past coming back. However, this could represent your comforts, you know, your, what you're familiar with. And, you know, based on these cards, I would say that you are very comfortable right now. Very emotionally fulfilled. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So this speaks about, you know, this person, you know, Knights bring in change, right? And not only is he or she bringing in change, but they're offering you a cup, a cup of love, um, offering you, offering you something, some type of emotional fulfillment that you're going to feel pretty good about. So the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. So, you know, this speaks about, you know, some type of ending, some type of cycle completion. You know, it may not have been easy, um, but do realize that with the Swords, you know, that is in your head. So I'm not taking away from the situation, um, but just know it might not be Ten Swords. You know, it might not be um, that much to fret over or to be stressed about or there's ways to balance it so maybe that's where that healing energy is going to come through for your heart chakra but 
overall energy, ending a cycle, completing a cycle, whether it was hard, whether it was difficult, whether it was uncomfortable, you're done. You're, you're done with it, it's ended. So let me get a few clarifying cards. Let's see, 10 of Pentacles. So Knight of Swords, so someone's charging in, bringing change, you know, um, sudden change at that. In regards to your abundance yeah so this is a brand new beginning and um, you know this this is where that ten of Pentacles comes from I think that whether it's a new job a new promotion um, a new love regardless of what it is it's gonna be more than you expected more than you expected and I feel like that's where all these cups are coming from because you are just going to be on cloud nine. So you have the chariot card, the will of fortune card fell out and the tower card fell out. So, you know, this does speak about sudden changes, you know, but luck is on your side. You know, luck is on your side. Your guides and angels are on your side. This sudden change is going to bring this forward moving, move, move, moving energy. And this is all about divine timing. And it, you know, it looks like a clock. And then that brings you into the sun energy. Like, I don't even have to clarify the sun, but let's see what messages do we have for the sun? I feel like balance is going to be restored back into your life. Balance, if not balance, harmony. Six of cups. This is about give and take. I feel like, you know, someone from the past may be offering you some type of generosity or you could be offering it to them with this material harvest but and it may be something unexpected what about the knight of cups so the knight of cups bringing in this um this offer the emotional fulfillment you have the ten of swords so whatever change is brought in, it's it's going to be bringing in, you know, some type of uh, completion. So with this completion right here, you know, this ending, you know, it is going to bring in um, some type of change of finances. You know, he's coming in to offer you um, a financial opportunity or something of value. So overall, this is a very beautiful reading. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments how these messages resonate. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time.